all praises to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai Basham Hakadosh, that belongs to the elders and apostles of Jake, um, Great Millstone, <laughs> who rule well. Yahweh's name, the Heavenly Father, it means He is. Yahweh Shai's name is His Son, it means He is. He saves. Rahakadosh is the name of the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. Many are called, but few are chosen. Look at that scripture. And Yahweh is the um, Lord of Hosts. Let's get that scripture. Find that. Hosts. <laughs> and probably in the New Testament. Psalms 46, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Who is this King of glory, the Lord of hosts? Chronicles 17, 24, let it be established that thy name be magnified forever, saying, the Lord of hosts, of God of Israel, even of God, a God of Israel, let the house of David be thy, of, of David, thy servant, be established before thee. And so great David wax great and greater. Eleven nine. Let's see, get some context. Um, let's take it from the top. Then all Israel gathered themselves to David among Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. And moreover, in time past, even when Saul was king, thus was he that led us out and brought us. Oh, one sec. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Sorry about that, I just had a bit of a spillage. <laughs> Let's carry on. Um, Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king of Hebron, and David made a covenant with them in Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. And David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Yishebos, where Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Jebus said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless, David took the castle of Zion, which is the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smite of the Jebusites first shall be chief and captain. So Job and son of Zeman went first up and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle. Therefore they called it the city of David. And he built a city around about, even from Milo around about. And Joab impaired the rest of the city. So David was greater and greater. For the Lord of hosts was with him. Um, talking about mighty men. These were also the chief of the mighty. So these are mighty men. So let's get that. Let's get understanding that. <laughs> the Lord ain't some kind of nicey, nicey. Um soft softly spoken person you know they, they said that even um in the, i think it's matthew 24 or 25 when they talk about the talents and saying that the lord is an austere man the lord is not a person who's given to weakness he's not a person who's given to um frailty he's the lord of hosts hosts being them armies he's not he's a captain he's a drill instructor he's a he's a he's a he is a hard man, you know, he's not someone who wants, um, you know, and he surrounds himself with mighty men. You, know, it's, you see, these are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom and with all Israel to make him king. So these are, he, he ain't, these ain't pussies, <laughs> basically. And when it comes to it, he, he ain't supposed to be pussy. I can't put it any other way, but like, you know, if you fail... Get yourself back up, man. If you miss it, if you miss a camp, get yourself back on the program. Get yourself back up and onto it. Get yourself back in the work. Don't be sitting there feeling sorry for yourself. Let's see if we can get anything about self pity. I'm not sure if it's in the Bible, but we'll see what there is. No dang down with self pity, man. Fuck that. All uh, words pity. He is merciful, but he isn't. Uh. And thine eyes shall not pity, but life shall go for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. So it's like, you know, when there's, this is, uh, as I understand that the law that's been given. Let's go back. And thine eyes shall not pity him 
13, 21. Let's go 19, 13. Then the elders of the city shall send. But if a man hate his neighbour and lie in wait for him and rise up against him and smite him mortally, then he die and fleeth into one of the cities. And the elders of the city shall send and fetch him thence and shall deliver him into the hand of the avenger of blood that he may die. Then I shall not pity him, but thou shalt put, it, put away the guilt of the innocent blood from Israel. So ain't like about... <laughs> Yeah, it was about. I mean, you have to. Eat, you are supposed to give pity to the poor, right? But when it comes to punishing, when it comes to doing the word of the Lord, we we are supposed to be strong in that. Uh, Isaiah thirteen and eighteen. Their bows, their bows shall not shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity of the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare the children. This is not. Um, regarding uh, Israelites there uh, Ezekiel 5 and 11 wherefore as I live saith the Lord says the Lord swearing now so when he, <laughs> he, he sometimes he says oh, this is the word of the Lord so you know it's the Lord talking so you take it serious when he says that as I live you know, he's, he's like that's like you said on your mama on <laughs> God well, they were commanded not to swear. Wherefore, as I live, said the Lord, surely thou hast defiled my sanctuary and with and all thy detestable things and with all thine abominations. Therefore, I will I also diminish thee. Neither shall mine eye spare, neither shall I have any pity. So the Lord is an austere man. As Amos 1 and 11, thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity. We we ain't dealing with people that we ain't de we ain't dealing with a lord that that is that is so you know that not that you see the bourgeois type cat that is sort of like you know if you're feeling weak and you can't make it just say free hail marys and you're good no no get yourself back up get yourself back doing the work this is the time as we're approaching Pesach and I did have a bit of a misunderstanding of that when Pesach came in because I thought it was the lunar calendar was the same as because I couldn't figure out when the Chinese when the new year came in and the new year comes in in spring that's according to um, Elder Apostle Taha around the end of March um, is when the new year comes in and then it's 14 days from there it's Pesach so we just um, I think as I understand it is it the beginning or mid, mid March 14 days the 9th was a new moon the 9th of March was a new moon and then 14 days after that, 23rd. So the, the new year came in on the 9th on the new moon and 23rd is Pesach. So, yeah, get yourself dust off that lint. I'll be sweeping out the house again. In fact, I'm actually going to be away for um, Pesach and, um, and the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So... I kind of miscalculated it this year, but I'll be doing it twice, I guess. I'm not sure if I, it's a celebration, but I'll be partaking in it. And, uh, yeah, Shalom, I just want to say that, yeah, if you don't, don't feel sorry for yourself if you fall if you fall down, get yourself up, dust yourself off. I want to get um, something from Revelation to close out, actually. And then there's the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps of the girdle and girdle, his head and his hairs were white like horn, his 
as white as snow, and his eyes were a flame of fire, and his feet were as of fine brass, as if they burnt in the furnace, and his voice was as the sound of many waters. And when he, and he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was was as the sun shineth in in, in his strength. And when I first sat, saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying, Fear unto me, fear not. I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive for evermore. Amen. And I have the keys to hell and, and of death. Write the things down which thou hast seen, and the things which are, the things which shall be there hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven candlesticks, the seven stars of the angels, and the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Unto the angel in the church of Ephesus, right? These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven candlesticks. I know thy works, and thy labour, and thy patience, and how thou cannot bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which they say that say are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne, and hast patience, and for my name's sake hast laboured, and hast not fainted. Neat. So there we go. And for has born, and I didn't even know where I was going with this, but has laboured and not fainted. So we had to do this. You know, you might feel like, oh yeah, he can't carry on, or you're bored, or, or you you're tired, or you fucked up, and you, you did something bad. You know, don't don't doubt, don't faint, don't flop, don't flake. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, whence thou, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and remove thy candlestick out of its place, except thou repent. And we hold a church, I mean, like, uh, could there are the seven churches, and, you know, the seven, uh, the, you know, the, the seven, it's really interesting, because when we talk about that, um, the one left, you know, there was the seven that came out, you know, so, you know, but we hold the, we hold the, the temple, we are the new temple, you know, at the time then it was, you know, it was the actual physical temple and the different churches spotted, spotted around geographically, but now a new temple, we are the, we are the, we are um, the seven, we are the pillars of the temple, we are the candlesticks and pillars of the temple and Yahweh Shai walks among us and we have to remember that that if we do not do the first works, he'll come unto us quickly. You know, we'll, you fuck us up, man. <laughs> Basically, uh, 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 yeah, and remove you out of your place. You know, he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. So, with that, I would like to say shalom.